The doctor is in and today our topic is lymphedema. It's swelling in one part of the body that is a result of a fluid buildup and it's one of the most common side effects of breast cancer treatments. And Dr. Scott Ackerman is one of the First Coast's leading oncologists. He is here today to talk about the symptoms and treatments available. But first, before we get into all of that, what the heck is lymphedema? What <laughs> lymphedema, is that? you say it well. I, I did get it right though, that's the thing. I want to give myself props for that. What is lymphedema? So lymphedema is when the lymphatic fluid, the lymph fluid, builds up in soft tissues of the body. <clears throat> and when it builds up, it causes swelling of the limbs. In our body, we have arteries that send blood out and veins that bring it back. We have nerves. We also have something called the lymph system. And the lymphatics collect, this is a circulating fluid around the body that collects bacteria, it collects waste, and it collects infections and those sort of things and helps us process it and, and fight infections. And when we have, when a person has lymphedema, the lymph, it means the lymph system is not working properly and the, and the, the ability to collect that fluid uh, is, not, is not working well. So what, ca what, what causes do you see of lymphedema? Well, there's two, we put causes into two categories. One is primary lymphedema, and this is very rare. And this is a uh, developmental problem where there's a developmental issue in the growth of the lymph system and it doesn't work. It's, it's very unusual to see that. But secondary lymphedema, which is a result of surgery or radiation treatment or trauma, is, is the more common type of lymphedema. Uh, uh, lymphedema, the, sec the secondary lymphedema, is more likely to develop following the removal of lymph nodes in a lot of cancer patients. Uh, breast cancer patients have the lymph nodes in the armpit removed and many of them get radiation as well to that same area. Patients that I see with uh, melanoma may have some lymph nodes removed from the groin and they may get radiation to that area also. So unfortunately in what I do I see lymphedema uh, thankfully not that often but I do see it in my, in my practice in patients where those lymph nodes um, get, get radiated. Also, in patients that have surgery, the slow healing of the skin after surgery can form a big scar, and the scar tissue can uh, block the lymph nodes as well. So what are some of the symptoms that uh, people at home might be looking for to think that they have this? Well, lymphedema is, as it sounds, edema or okay. swelling. Okay. You know, we see edema of the legs and those sort of things. So swelling of the arm or the leg. If it's just mild lymphedema, it may just be a, a little bit of swelling. Uh, but then when it starts getting a little bit more swelling, the, the extremity may feel heavy. It may, the skin may be tight, it may be difficult to uh, move joints. A lot of my patients that have some lymphedema don't even know it. Um, they don't see or notice the swelling, but what they do notice, because these are women with breast cancer, that their ring or their bracelet may be a little tight. They may complain to me that their skin is a little bit itchy um, uh, on that side, or they even may notice a little bit of hair loss, a little arm hair uh, loss. So if, if a patient who has had a lymph node removed or surgery or radiation has any of these symptoms, they could seek medical attention, make sure they see their, their uh, surgeon or the radiation oncologist uh, about it so we can um, intervene and prevent it from getting too bad. So what about treatment? Can you, can you treat this fully or? Yeah, well, sadly, there's no cure okay. for lymphedema. Lymphedema usually is permanent uh, damage to the lymphatics, but you can control it. And what I do with my patients, I send them to, for physical therapy, usually at a lymphedema clinic, a, a physical therapy facility that specializes in patients with this lymphedema. Um, there's also <clears throat> some self-help. I can give my patients some instructions on how to minimize lymphedema. And these, uh, at these clinics, and what I tell my patients, includes things like light exercise, some massage of that extremity to try to get the fluids um, out, of, out of the extremity. Sometimes we give patients compression garments, and you may have seen women with a sleeve on their arm that keeps it tight, and that, and that prevents the edema from, from getting out of hand. Also on the legs, some compression garments on the legs as well. Even some are pneumatic where you pump them up and that helps keep the, the, the lymph. And, and you don't have to wear those all the time. You can wear them just at night and then during the day, um, you know, at night to keep it from building up and then during the day you, you, you can walk around, not get too overly heated up, and depending on how severe the case is. We also uh, intervene medically, we want to make sure that a patient who has lymphedema, they're going to be more susceptible to infections in those areas because the lymphatics that help us fight infections mm -hmm. aren't working that well. So we want to make sure that if someone gets um, uh, a, 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 a skin abrasion or a laceration, that we treat it properly and immediately with antibiotics and, and manage it properly. So just have, having awareness is key and making sure mm -hmm. that you treat 
uh, as best as can, but again, no cure. So right, that's Casey. interesting. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Ackerman, thank for you. being here. We appreciate that. And Dr. Ackerman is with us every Friday, and next week he will be talking about generic versus brand name drugs. And for questions regarding today's topic or any other health questions that you might have, just visit firstcoastoncology.com. Once you get there, you can confidentially submit your questions to Ask the Doctor.